Okay, folks, you've never seen Eco Chic done this way. All bamboo, all beautiful, all the time. Today, I'm going to take you inside one of the most interesting, most daring, most drop dead gorgeous places I've ever stayed. Not only do you get to see some incredible architecture, you get to see how it comes alive with a peek inside the factory that makes the bones of these incredible structures. Then we'll take you on a tour of a community that's at the forefront of a green revolution. And you'll get a look inside what many consider to be the world's most beautiful and sustainable school. So buckle up, this is a fun one. The wild buildings I've been showing you all started here at Abuku an architecture firm on a mission to create sustainable homes, schools, and other stuff in Bali using bamboo. At the helm is creative director Alora Hardy, part of a family that's driving a green revolution. More on them a bit later. These guys are not playing by the rules. No straight lines or squares here. Their designs are pushing the limits on what's possible, rethinking everything we thought we knew about architecture, sustainability, and materials. The results, pretty mind-blowing. So when you build with bamboo, you're essentially sucking up the CO2 and locking it into the building. And because bamboo is a grass, rather than a tree, it grows really fast. Across the street from Ibuku is Bamboo Pure. And this guy, Oren Hardy, is at the helm of this operation. The same last name as Ibuku's boss is not a coincidence. You'll get the whole story in a couple minutes. This factory's turned out enough bamboo building materials for 200 buildings, and it's just getting started. It all starts in the field. To be big enough to harvest for construction materials, a bamboo clump needs to be about 10 years old. New growth needs to be three to four years old to be large enough to become construction grade bamboo like this. After cutting, the bamboo's sorted into sizes, with the largest bamboo set aside for structural purposes. Then it's treated in a hot or cold borax bath to increase its life expectancy. The smaller bits are cut up and pressed with glue into other bamboo building materials using these dowels. Using glue to bind bamboo makes for a super strong material, so even many of these pieces can be used in the building's structure. And some are used for things like doors, walls, and other non-structural purposes. Okay, you guys ready to see how it all looks when it's put together? Across the river from Bamboo Pure is the Green Village, designed by Ibuku and built by Bamboo Pure. A pretty amazing sight with these bamboo structures blending into the river valley. The open air design allows for natural ventilation and cooling, and the village also utilizes rainwater harvesting and recycling systems to reduce waste and minimize their impact on the environment. There are a few houses you can rent here, we stayed at Ara House, a place that's somewhere in between a hotel and an Airbnb. You get the whole house to yourself, but there's also a restaurant on site that's just steps away. Feeling lazy? Well, then they'll bring the food to you. What's so great about this place is not only is it beautiful, not only does it connect you to nature, but it's also uber sustainable. So I'm talking about buildings that give back more to the environment than they take. And that's what's so exciting about this building. That's what this does. The top floor of this house is like nothing I've ever seen before. The living and dining areas are wide open to the elements, complete with a full kitchen. The best part, you're up in the trees, listening to the soothing sounds of the river below. It's like you're actually living right in the jungle, just without the discomfort. I couldn't help but kick back on the couch for a while, ogling the architecture and watching the clouds float by. There's a large bedroom in the middle with its own bathroom. Check out this bedroom on the bottom floor with this funky teardrop door. Is it a teardrop or an egg? I guess I'm leaning towards egg given the way the bamboo is woven together to create a bird's nest vibe that's like nothing I've ever seen. And the deck outside the bedroom has killer views of the river valley. I could sit here all day and just soak it in. But then there's the pool. Maybe I should soak in all this wonderfulness here instead. So 
So this building was designed to fit into this existing landscape. They didn't bulldoze anything here. They did that by using this point foundation system. So they start by pouring a simple concrete footer and there's a J-shaped rebar that goes through the bottom of the footer and then up here, this is the capstone. So they've drilled a hole here in the capstone so the rebar can come through. And then the rebar comes up through the bamboo here and they fill this up with concrete just about to this level. That basically glues it all together. So the bottom line is this building sits really lightly on the land and that's a really good thing. The designers haven't just used bamboo structurally, it's used for railings, as dividers and screens, used to make lights, furniture, just about everything. Most days the Green Village runs a tour and you can wander through some of the other incredible houses here. It's a bit of potluck, depending on what houses don't have occupants that day. All the different roof lines here are a great illustration of how flexible bamboo is as a building material. The curves are incredible and every house here is unique. Our first stop was at River House. I don't know about you, but the height and beauty of this ceiling reminds me of walking into a Gothic cathedral and looking up. And all you can do is utter, Wow. These columns really give you the feeling of being in a bamboo forest. The architects have also designed in all these spaces within spaces, and it's all one of a kind. We walked a few hundred meters to the next house on the tour, and just the guest house alone is something to behold. My favorite part being this crazy roof. The main house here is pretty epic. Check out how they've used bamboo for the can lights. The main bedroom has great views of the valley and that impossible bed versus hammock conundrum. This house is also another reminder that engineering can be beautiful. The Green Village is a community of folks who really care about the environment and great design. My favorite peeps. It's great to see how sustainable living can also be incredibly beautiful. So we've talked about the daughter and son, but it all started with mom and dad, John and Cynthia Hardy who made their money in the jewelry business that they started building in Bali in 1975. In 2008, they walked away from the day-to-day -day operations of their business to found Bali's Green School. The campus buildings, you guessed it, are made almost entirely of bamboo and blend so well, I think, with the jungle around it. The school's right across the river from the Green Village, so if you stay there, they can arrange a tour of the Green School but give them some notice because it takes a minute to organize this. The Green School is a place where learning and sustainability come together in one of the most beautiful campuses I've ever seen. With a curriculum based on sustainability and environmental awareness, and with students leaning less on books and more on hands-on experiences. This place gives me some hope for what's possible if we prioritize sustainability in education. And the good news is that it's inspiring other green schools around the world in places like South Africa, New Zealand, and Mexico. So, on behalf of the planet, thanks to Cynthia and John. We need more people like you and your kids. All right, so next we're headed to the Uma Abud, and I stayed there 18 years ago and I loved it. So, the question is, is a hotel that was great 18 years ago still great?